Hi, Flick here from the Nerd Soapbox, and today we're at the Long Beach Comic Con. And guess what? I'm here with Margaret Carey. Hi, Margaret. Hello, how are you Hi. doing today? I'm fantastic, how are you? I'm just doing fun, I'm having more fun here, I tell Aww. you. This is a really great show. Yeah, meeting fans and everything? Yes, but it's more than that. There's a lot of happy people here. Oh, yeah. I think one of the reasons is it's cool. Here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool like a cucumber. Right, right. <laughs> okay. So, what's happening with you? Well, I want to talk to you a little bit about Tinkerbell. Oh, one of my favorite, favorite subjects. I wonder why. Well, because uh, you have quite a history with Tinkerbell. Yeah? How did you know that? You are so wise. Well, thank you. But no. uh, it just comes across in you. I, yeah. I knew that the minute that I saw it. I knew that you had pixie dust in your pocket. <laughs> You know, sometimes, because I am the original reference model to Tick Bell for Walt yeah. Disney for Peter Pan, and then all the subsequent ones after that. Wow. That, um, I sometimes get up, I'm not joking, right. and, and I've had a lovely night's sleep, and I look in the mirror and I said, I'm one of the most fortunate people in the whole wide world. Mm. I must have a pixie dusted life. And you know what? I do. Mm. Aww. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I travel for Tinkerbell. Yeah, yeah. I talk to people about her. I, in my book, in my new book, there's just a couple of stories. One lady came up to me and said that Tinkerbell and me right. had saved her life. Well, she was one of four that had told me that. Wow. And one of the reasons was that Tinkerbell always thinks happy thoughts. All right. And so she got to a tattoo on her leg. And every time that she got depressed, she'd look at it, she'd say, no, 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 happen. And her daughter was right there with her and said, that absolutely happened. Wow. And yes, and Lisa and I, uh, Warner, uh, we became good friends. It's a fabulous story. Yeah, it, it's, uh, it, it just goes, it can't get much better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so is this in your, your book, The Tinkerbell Talks? It is. Can I show it to you? Would you please? Yes. I just happen to have one right here. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. wow. oh, look at that. Uh, yeah. It says, Tinkerbell Talks, Tales of a Pixie Dusted Life. And that is a picture of me in the, in the bathing suit, actually, that I did a lot of the work for Tinkerbell. Because they didn't give me a costume. They said a one-piece bathing suit would be just fine. Right. And so I'm sweet, and then there's Tinkerbell right behind me. And oh. it's, it's 400 pages. Wow, of when Tinkerbell all starts to talk, she... <laughs> she, has a lot, she has a lot to say. Wait till you try to get out of this interview. Um, but it's 400 pages wow. of, of a bunch no of... No photos? 180. Oh, and wow. And some of them very rare. And I don't know whether you could catch this on camera, but this is fun. Yeah. She's adorable. Now, my question is, what were you doing when you were four years old? Uh... Yeah. Go I, to school? I was going to work at Warner really? Brothers. Yes. Go to I work? Where, where? I started 84 years ago when I was four years old. Wow. Now, I know you can do math, so I'll not tell you how old I am. <laughs> anyway, this is new. Yeah, yeah. And there are lots of fun stories in there. Where, about, where do I get this? Uh, you can call. Uh, you can get on my website, TinkerbellTalks.com. Right. And there it is. You press a button, I'm told. I stay away from anything electronic. Anything. It takes one look at me and says, no, <laughs> I'm not going to work. <laughs> so anyway, it's, and here on the back, yeah, you yeah. see, Three Stooges, mm -hmm. I worked with them. Wait, wait, you work with, you yeah. work with the Three Stooges? Yes, yes, 139 episodes, live mm -hmm. opening and closing. Holy, oh, the cartoon. Yes. I love that cartoon. Well, that's little old me there. Oh, wow. And all those, oh yes, I did the witch for them, which they love. And then I did the, <laughs> the newborn baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I did, uh, you know, uh, the guy up the street and things like that. <laughs> and then here I am with Charlie Ruggles. And right, I was yeah. on five years with the ABC network. Mm. And then here I am with in the, the Little Rascals. Really? I, uh, yes, I was in the 19... 
and I did about I knew you were a little rascal. <laughs> darn tootin'. But you're one of the gang. I know. And there I am with the Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger? And I got to say, no, Dad, he's the Lone Ranger. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that was almost as exciting as being Tinkerbell. Oh. Is, it, is it Clutch Cargo? Uh, I, Clutch right Cargo there. is right there. Yeah? Yes, yes. What did you do for them? I was spinning. Gee, Clutch, what do we do now? <laughs> wow. And I was secret agent there. Said all those people. <laughs> and uh, it, there's a wonderful story in here about uh, I went back to college. All right. And it gives you a little idea what's in the book. This has nothing to do with showbiz. Okay. But I went back to college when I was 35. All right. Just at the time when we were having riots on on, on the campus. campus. Yeah. Well, I went to LACC. Okay. And it turns out that we had a, a communist agent as a school enrolled uh, as a student there, which was not unusual. A communist agent at school? Yeah. Wow. But they knew who he was, right? All right. So he had gone down to Venezuela. And he had gotten his check, but they told him that they were going to fire him if he didn't get something going on campus. All right. So the, the smart folk on our uh, uh, school board yeah. uh, of students said, well, let's give him a riot. <laughs> yeah. So I went up to him and I said, Rashidi? And he said, what is it, Ms. Brown? That was my married name then. Right. I said, come Friday in the afternoon at 2.15 and we'll have a riot for you. Now, I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. <laughs> Brown. And I said, well, come or not. So came Friday, there he was chatting with us. We had about 80 people there. And up drives eyewitness news car. Oh, this wow. man gets out with a camera, you know, and runs up and Rashidi hops up on the folding chair and starts haranguing us and we're saying, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> wow. And then we had a little Asian girl who took a half a rock and a brick and threw it through a window of a building that we knew that was going to be destroyed. All right. But they got it on film, right? And, yeah, the, yeah. and the man took our names, or took names, and got back in, and then we said goodbye Rashidi, and we all went to work. <laughs> we we let off eyewitness news that night, and he, wow. kept, he kept his job. <laughs> <laughs> so there are fun stories like that in there, too. <laughs> I helped the communist keep his job. Yes! yes. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And we also, um, I talk about finding my family after 50 years. <gasps> oh. And that's because I produced an animated film for the state of California. Okay. All kinds of serendipitous stuff. Wow. Yeah. So I like that word, serendipity. Oh, can I tell you where it comes from? Yes, yes, please. Okay. Well, oh, um... Carl Walpole, don't get scared of that. Uh, back in the 17th century, he's the kind of guy that you hope your teacher said you don't have to read anything. Right, but, right. But he's very good at it. He came across a fairy tale right. uh, of Persia, and where there were three princesses, that is male princess, mm -hmm. who were princess of the, of the uh, countryside of Serendip. Mm. And the story was in in the in this uh, uh, fairy tale where they kept stumbling over and finding things that they did not know that they really needed. Mm. And it turned out of course they did. <laughs> so it was serendip, so he came up with the name the word serendipity. Serendipity. I love that. <laughs> wow. So there's lots of stuff in there about serendipity. Well this was it was serendipitous that uh, we came to talk to you today. See? Yeah. It works. I didn't know we didn't we didn't talk to you until we talked to you. Yeah. We, wow. And I haven't seen you for a long time and I was really happy. I've been hiding. There's a friend of yours, I think his name is John. I'm I'm not sure. Say hello to him for me. Will do. Okay, <laughs> okay can my, I have a hug? Get my book first. Tell me you're gonna get my book first. I'm gonna get your book. I love it. Thanks. I'll get two copies. <laughs> you are so sweet. Oh. We need more people like oh, you. Okay, in the world. okay. Got a question for you. All right. If I buy your book from your website, yes. will you autograph it for me? Darn you. You will? Darn you. To flick? Darn you. Wow. And I'll spell it correctly, too. F L I C K. Well, okay. I'll spell it that way, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for, geez, thanks for talking oh, to us today. Blessings on you oh. and everybody in there. Oh, thank you. Well, this was Flick and with Margaret Carey at the Long Beach Comic Con.
Let's see who else we can find. Oh, that's a neat pin. I like that pin. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, thank you. A Tinkerbell pin. I've had it for 88 years, so I guess it's still okay. Wow. Wait a minute. Oops. I gave my age away, didn't I? Uh -huh. Oh, 88 yes. years. Oh. <laughs> but I'm still cute, right? You're a pixie. I love it. <laughs> One more hug. Oh. oh you, Trying to take the pin. Hold on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Trying to take the pin. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I don't think you'd be my boyfriend anymore. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I take it back. Take it back. No, yeah. no, no, no. It looks great sure? on you. You deserve it. Did you come through beautifully with that? You are very, very well uh, socialized. Thank you. Absolutely. For a puppet. You were going to say for a puppet, weren't you? No. <laughs> no. I was going to say libertarian. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Goodbye, Margaret. Goodbye.